Hey everybody, it's Minx Laura123. Welcome to this shopping haul video. Hope you enjoy watching and if you do, please click like, comment, share and please subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. So hope everyone is doing good. Uh, it's so hot today. Oh my, I am absolutely sweating hot here. Um, it's supposed to be like the hottest day of the year, I think, here in the UK today. Uh, this morning I got up really early and uh, I went to town and uh, I went to Primark, which I haven't been in like, I don't know, four, five months, something like that. It's been ages. Um, and also went to Poundland, like the other Poundland, because there's two Poundlands in Southend. I, I go to the other one, but I hadn't been to the bigger one until today. Uh, so I got some goodies and I thought I'd do a video showing you what I got in Poundland and Primark. And also, I was a bit naughty, but I got two books as well. <laughs> you know me, I'm a bookworm. So uh, let me show you what I got and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy watching. Okay, first of all, uh, I got this new tote bag. I know I shouldn't have got a new tote bag, but um, when I was shopping, I was like, oh, I need to get a tote bag. I forgot to bring mine with. It's at home. I always leave my tote bags at home. So annoying. Um, and I couldn't resist this bag. It's so cute. Look, it says beach, please. I miss going to the beach. I live in South End on Sea in Essex and, uh, you know, it's on sea. It's a beach area um but because there's so many people on our beach uh we can't go until it gets a bit quiet because you know we've got to be careful social distancing and stuff but i really do miss just like walking on the beach sitting on the beach eh. so you know in the meantime i can just have a bag that says beach please <laughs> but it's a nice bag anyway inside i have these things to show you so these are from poundland this is a toucan ice cube tray how cool is this? A toucan <laughs> ice cube tray. I've never seen anything like it. Um, and I really wanted a new ice cube tray because I don't know what happened to our one. Because um, I like, you know, in the summer having a cold drink and then just putting ice in it and making it extra cold. So uh, I saw this for a pound and I was like, this is super, super cute. So I'm going to fill that up later, put it in the freezer, get some ice cubes done. So on Facebook, right, I'm in a group called the Poundland Appreciate... Appre what's it? Hold on. Poundland appreciation <laughs> can't say that word i'm gonna do it poundland appreciation group hope i said it right anyway so i'm in this group on facebook basically and it's all to do with poundland people post pictures of what they've got at poundland and stuff like that so um someone had posted a picture of these and i was like oh i hope the south end branch you know i hope one of them will do these and sure enough i managed to uh, grab a box these are a pound for all these nail polishes and they're lovely like neon colors look at these so they're max some more and uh, you've got blue, purple, pink, orange, yellow and green, but really like bright neon colours, which is perfect this summer. At the moment, my nails are this pinky colour, um, but I'd love to do like, you know, like a rainbow look with these. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, good for a pound, all those. OK, so I've got this for the garden. They've got more garden stuff in there. So if you like your garden stuff, uh, go to Poundland. They've got some good new garden stuff. Um, but I got this because, look, it's a little lion. And I am a very proud Leo. That is my star sign. I was born in August and I'm a Leo. So I'm going to get like a little plant or something to put in here, either a fake one or a real one, and just pop him in the garden because he's super cute. And he's a lion like me. Rah! Yeah. <laughs> Now these I really, really needed. These are lens cleaning wipes for my glasses. Actually, the glasses on the box look like my actual glasses. Um, but I really need these because I don't know what it is. My glasses get proper dirty. It's horrible. Obviously, when you're trying to read or watch the television and your glasses are all like dirty and misted up and stuff, like it's just impossible. So I'm going to keep these upstairs and I've already got a box downstairs. So these will be my box for upstairs. Ultra clean touch lens cleaning wipes yeah get 52 streak free wipes that's good for a pound so lately i have been getting a lot of these poundland nail polishes and i tell you what they are so good like really good quality um as i said, i've got the pink on today i had blue on the other day i'd like another kind of pinky color on that was gorgeous um so i went and got the lilac one today as well because i really like this color i love lilac um, these are only a pound, but I tell you now, they are so good, like really good quality nail polishes. They last for days and uh, so they don't chip or anything. Well, they're going to chip eventually, but they don't chip like within like an hour or anything. Um, so, yeah, they're really good. Nice colours as well. 
So I've got one of those. Also, I got these fake eyelashes, or should I say false eyelashes, fake eyelashes, whatever. Uh, so these are not for me. I'm not going to be wearing these. They're actually um, for using on my other channel. I have another YouTube channel, Minx Laura123. ASMR link is down below go check it out uh, so I'm going to be doing some like, ASMR makeup themed videos I've got this like mannequin head um, and I'm going to pop these eyelashes on the head uh, when I do the makeup looks and stuff so I thought for a pound um, for two pairs that's that's pretty good so and they're nice ones as well quite long and stuff so yeah I've got them okay I'll quickly show you the two books that I got I'm not going to go into the whole book thing of what they're about and stuff um because I'm going to do a separate new book haul video so look out for that if you are a bookworm um but yeah I got these from Waterstones I got To Kill a Man by Sam Bourne um I absolutely love that book To Kill the President I thought it was really good uh and this is I think the next one in the series or well, there might have been one before this one anyway I don't know but it's in the same series and uh, I'm really excited to read this it sounds brilliant I do like a nice kind of political thriller um so yeah it says when murder looks like justice <laughs> but um yeah look, I'm looking forward to read that one and this one I've heard a lot of good things about uh, this is The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett and this is an exclusive to Waterstones edition because it's signed by the author hold on there we go I think that is so cool so yeah um but they're my new books so I'm quite excited about those Right, I'll move those over there. Right, now I'm going to show you the stuff I got from Primark. So um, how beautiful is this bracelet? Like, it, it's just amazing. Two pound. Two pound. Um, I just love it. You know, I don't really go out anymore, like, <laughs> you know, to clubs and stuff. But I just love it. Like, this is the sort of thing I would have wore back in the day when I was going out clubbing and stuff. Looking a bit glamorous. But the way I look at it, you can still be glamorous at home. Mm hmm. And also when I'm filming videos and stuff like that, but it's just beautiful. I could not resist it. It's like a little, it's kind of like a cuff, isn't it? Like a bracelet cuff thing. Um, but it's gorgeous. For two pounds, I just, I had to get it. So got that. And I got these little earrings. These also two pounds. I have to put, um, when I wear earrings that aren't real gold or real silver, I don't know if anyone else gets this, but I have to put like stuff on the backs, like nail, uh, clear nail polish. Um, it stops me kind of breaking out in a rash. It's really weird. My mum gets it as well. So basically if I wear earrings that aren't silver or gold, um, my ears go like green. It's really weird. And I get the same with like rings and bracelets and everything. So uh, as long as you put, if you get this as well, this problem, um, as long as you put like clear nail varnish on them and coat them in it, obviously let it dry and stuff, then I don't have a problem. But I saw these and I just love them. But like the little shells there with the little hearts and I just think they're so lovely. They're so cute. They've got some really nice earrings in uh, Primark actually, but they were my favourites. Right, I'm a bit annoyed about this. I'm a bit angry. It's time for Laura to rant. Minx Laura rants and moans. Yeah, uh, basically, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Um, I paid 50p for this, so you're probably thinking, I oh, don't moan, it was only 50p. But that's not the point. Uh, so basically, this was reduced from £2 to 50p, and it's a chocolate candy phone case. And I just thought it would be a little present for my lovely fiancé, Nathan. Uh, I just thought it was pretty cute, and uh, I thought, oh, I get it, it's only 50p. Um, and yet, when I got home, it's out of date. It's literally out of date. Hold on, where's the date thing going? Look, May 20, 2020. We're now in June. It's not right. They shouldn't be selling out of date food. But it is cute. <laughs> um, but he's not going to risk it. So unfortunately, I've got to put it in the bin because I don't want him to get ill or anything. But um, I just thought I'd still show you because it's super cute. How cool is that? Like little phone case. Um, but yeah, not good Primark. Not impressed with that. Anyway, that's my rant over. Rant over. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm so weird. I think it's the heat. It's making me even weirder than I already am. I've uh, got this little set of bracelets here. Five pack. Uh, three pound for all these, which I think is quite good. I love the little flowers the best. They're so adorable. Um, and there's one here that says love with the little beads. And these are just lovely for summer. Like I love stuff like this. And um, But at the bottom, it's uh, there's one that says BFF. And I'm actually going to keep this for my friend Lisa, um, who's my best pal, my best birdie. Because um, it's her birthday soon. So I thought I would keep this. I've got rather a few little bits and pieces as well. Um, but I thought I'd give her this uh, as a little extra. And she can wear it. Best friends forever. <laughs> it's good though, isn't it? All these for £3. So they just tie up at the back. 
And uh, yeah, that flower one is adorable. It's really groovy. Groovy, baby. Oh, and I've got a lipstick from uh, Primark as well. I've opened it because I wanted to show Nathan the colour. Uh, it's lovely. It's called, if it focuses, hold on, focus. Sorry, I'm trying to get my phone to focus. There we go. Dewy lipstick, floral, floral days, dewy lipstick. Um, and it's rose, but oh my, this colour is just beautiful. Look at that. I love pink. If you're a regular viewer, you know that pink is my favourite colour, but especially with lipstick, I love wearing pink lipstick. But um, yeah, I, I thought that was beautiful. And it was only like two pounds. It's a bargain trying to put the lid back on. There we go. But yeah, two pound for that. And I like the packaging as well. I think it's cute. They had some other like makeup that was uh, under this kind of uh, floral days thing. Eyeshadows and stuff like that, but I didn't want them. But this lipstick I wanted to get. Um, okay, so clothes wise, I got some leggings, which is really boring. I don't really need to show you the leggings. They're just plain black leggings. Um, yeah, I've got these ones here. Now I've got two different sizes because, you know, I don't know if I've put weight on over the lockdown. I didn't want to buy leggings and they're really tight <laughs> but I mean my other leggings fit okay but just in case I thought I'd get one pair um of this size here which is 14 to 16 just so if I have put a bit of belly on they'll stretch and also without being too personal when I've got my girly issues once a month you know what I'm saying um I like like my trousers to be a bit looser because my stomach gets quite bloated so I've got one pair of those and two pairs of the um 12 to 14, which is what I normally wear. And by the way, there's no way I know. I'm not like, you know, stupid. I know I'm not a size 12, 14. Um, but with Primark leggings, that is the size I wear now, which is obviously a good thing. Um, but as I say, I've got the uh, other pair as well. So I've got some um, shorts as well. Let me show you the shorts. Shut shots. These are great for just sitting around the house in, or if I just go around the corner shop, get some milk or something. I wouldn't go out shopping in them, but just, you know, sitting around the house, walking around the shop, it's so hot, do you know what I mean? And you start putting trousers on and your legs just sweat up. It's horrible. Um, and yes, I am slightly paranoid about my chubby thighs, um, but there we go. I've got chubby thighs. I've got to deal with it. Uh, <laughs> but these are nice. They're just stretchy and black and white. Got the stripes there. And uh, yeah, I just thought these were pretty cool. They were like £2.50, which, absolute bargain. So, t-shirts. I have this one here. Hold on, let me try and... There we go. This is Minnie Mouse. It's so cute. She's like doing her shocked look. Like, oh my God. <laughs> and I love the little polka dot bow and the polka dot here. And yeah, it's just nice. I like the colouring of this t-shirt. This was uh, only a fiver, which was good. And it's a nice light colour for the summer um also you know you know that i love the barbie uh this is a, a new barbie top that i can't remember seeing the last time well about five months ago when i went in there i can't remember seeing it and because i know they were doing some barbie stuff because i've got some barbie t-shirts from like months ago um but i've not seen this one so this might be a newer version but yeah it's just like a light pastel pink and as you can see it says well barbie all over it so um yeah love it i love a bit of barbie and uh, now this one made me think of my granddad because he used to love Tom and Jerry. Now it's probably stupid getting a black t-shirt because obviously if you wear a dark coloured clothing in this heat it just makes you even hotter. Um, but I could wear this any time of the year. Do you know what I mean? Once it cools down a bit I like to wear t-shirts anyway so it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, this is so cool. Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Take the label off. You can see it. There we go. I love Tom and Jerry. And as I say, my granddad used to love watching uh, Tom and Jerry in the mornings. <laughs> uh, so that's that. I don't know how much that one was. Hold on. I think that was, oh, fiver as well. It's good, isn't it? Five pound for a t-shirt. Um, and the last item of clothing I got, and then I can show you this lip balm, is this top here, um, which is kind of like leopard print. Yeah, like a light coloured uh, leopard print. A little sheer top I thought would look nice. Just with like black leggings um, or maybe some jeans or jeggings or something. I haven't tried it on. This is the only issue at the moment with Primark. And I completely understand. Like I think it's sensible, obviously. Uh, they're not letting anyone try on like anything clothing wise and, and I completely agree with that like I don't want to get something and risk it in the obvious uh, because someone's put it on their skin um you know so I'm just I don't know if this fits or not I've got the size 20 so it'd be loose um, but it might be too big 
it might be just right i don't know um it's hard to tell with tops because sometimes obviously normally i would just go in there try it on and if it's too big get the size lower if it's too small get the size up that kind of thing but i i just went with the 20 so we'll see how it goes you can take things back to uh, get your money back get refunds so that's okay so if it doesn't fit i'll either do that or i'll pop it on ebay so either way i won't get like stuck with it but i hope it fits because i think it's really nice it's quite smart and the last thing i want to show you is this now you know uh, if you're a regular viewer that my favorite drink is pepsi pepsi max to be exact um, but this is a primark exclusive and it is the um pepsi lip balm how cool is this i love the tin the tin is just gorgeous um and i'm hoping it's going to taste of pepsi um because in the summer like my lips get so like dry and stuff mind you they get dry in the winter as well when i'm cold but yeah anyway but my lips in general then get quite dry and flaky so i thought getting a lip balm would be a good idea and then when i saw the pepsi one i was like i'm having that but it's cool isn't it and i can also use this little tin in my asmr videos i can like tap on the tin use it in videos so um yeah i like that and i'll let you know in a future video if it does actually taste like pepsi i have had like flavored drink lip balms and they do taste pretty similar um so yeah we'll see Anyway, that is the end of the video. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Tell me in the comments section down below what was your favourite item uh, that I got today. It was so exciting and so fun to go shopping. Like, seriously. <laughs> I'd really miss just going shopping. Like, obviously, I'd been going out still, like going to Poundland or, you know, Sainsbury's. But it's it's not the same as just like nipping into Primark, looking around. And they've, you know, handled it really well. You know, there's a uh, anti-back cleaning place as soon as you go in so you wash your hands they have two separate queues you go in that way and out the other way um obviously you have to keep social distancing when you're in the shop there's all stickers on the floor which is brilliant and to be fair people were quite good i was worrying that i'd get in primark and everyone would be like Rah! you know right near you but they did actually keep the distance and people were like friendly and smiling and let you go through and you'd let them go through and so that was good um and being in the other pound land was so cool um, I hadn't been in the other Poundland for so long. Um, as I say, we've got two in South End, but the other one is is bigger, and it's also got the Pep and Co as well. I didn't find anything in Pep and Co like the clothing and stuff, but I had a little look. You know, you got to while you're there, but I didn't find anything. But yeah, I got some different bits and pieces that I'd not seen in the other Poundland uh, at the top of the high street. So yeah, it was nice. I just felt like a little bit of normality. I think me just going out on my own, you know, having a bit of Laura time, doing a bit of shopping. Um, it was cool. You know, I, I probably was a little bit naughty with my money. I shouldn't have spent what I spent, but there we go. <laughs> you know, I haven't been out for ages. So I think that was my, my little spend up. I'm not going to go shopping now, um, like Primark or anything for a good like month or so. So this is going to last me. Um, and you know, I, I enjoyed it. It was fun. If it makes me happy, it can't be that bad. And with regards to the books, what I do with these books, um, I get new books, I read them, I keep them in good condition, and then I sell them on eBay. So I will get a bit of the money back uh, from the books. That's what I've been doing recently. I, I get new books, I read them. As I say, I keep them in top condition, and then I, I sell them on, on eBay. I either get the same price back, or I make a little bit of profit. I mean, now and again, I might lose like a couple of pounds, but in general, I tend to get that money back ish so you know that's okay um and anyway i'm rambling aren't i <laughs> sorry oh such a rambler thank you for watching everyone please click like share comment subscribe and don't forget to smash the notification bell really appreciate that and uh, make sure you take care of yourselves and those around you uh, you know keep safe keep well and uh yeah i'll see you in the next video i don't know what it'll be but there'll be another video at some point <laughs> See you later, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.